Hello and welcome to the next LEGO Magazine upload, which today is all about Ninjago, the Legacy range, and more importantly, this limited edition tin. Now, before we get going, excuse the backdrop, this is all a temporary setup until the correct lighting turns up, and then we can start messing around with a really, really nice LEGO display on the back. But back to the magazine. Now, I didn't actually realize that these were not sold in the States, to the best of my knowledge. If the price is $6.99 UK or it's $11.99 Australian dollars. So, what I'm going to Tempted to do is do this as a weekly or fortnightly upload on a Sunday, just so it's something a little bit different for everybody. Now, what we'll do as per normal, like we've done with a couple of the other magazines, we'll check the inside for the content. Obviously, there's lots of little games with the little ones and the big ones I like to play. But I think what everyone wants to know is what is on the inside of this tin. Now, if I'm trying to peel back the sellotape, I do believe it has a lot of really, really nice artwork all wrapped around. Now, I have seen these limited edition tins before, but not with these two characters in. So first thing first, what we'll do is we'll get the thing open and we'll take a good look. So we'll start top to bottom as normal and you can see it's a special edition in bright yellow. It's obviously the Lego Ninjago Legacy range, but this is what everybody's after. This really, really nice tin. So hopefully it's coming through clearly enough. It's got nice clear artwork on. You can see it's a good size. So if you want to use it for spare pieces and stuff, maybe that might be an option. But as we come down, it does say issue number 24. That's a price again, $6.99 or $11.99 Australian. And as we come through, you've got all these different bits and pieces that I would imagine will be on the inside of this magazine. So we'll start to open it up and take a look. So the easiest way to get this off would be obviously with a pair of scissors, but I don't have any. So I've just peeled that off and it has not really damage the magazine and then we're through and it's not taking anything off the tin so again super shiny we'll take a good look at that at the very very end now this is going to end in tears i think because what's going to happen is as i turn the cover that sellotape is going to get stuck so let me just squeeze that into a ball so we don't rip everything so again there we go look so there's the two bits on the front so if you see this magazine with these two on it says two lego minifigures obviously it means somebody's pinched the tin but it's not the easiest thing to do i've never seen anything stolen from these magazines which is always which is always really nice now let's go from the inside it's got all about the lego city as you come down it's got you know your lego city limits or no limits shall i say and they are advertising some of the sets so in here what do we have we have got the custom car garage which is 60389 Coming through, we've got the new stunt set, which is 60361. And then we've got the emergency of vehicle HQ, which went into a half decent sale at 60371. So there's some nice bits and pieces within that. Now coming up again to the top, as you can hear the rain coming heavily off the roof. So hopefully that's not affecting things too much now. As we come down, you've got all the different training plans. So you've got some nice little bits and pieces on the inside. I do like the fact that it says training plan, but it actually is obviously each page relating to something slightly different. And you have got a collectible poster. So this is part number four. So you could have collected the whole team. So you've got the legacy number 21, just down here then 22 23 we're at this and this issue and then that is the next post that's going to be coming in issue number 25 so i will keep my eyes peeled for the next issue of this depending on what it comes with coming over you obviously as per normal start with a really nice comic so i'm just going to go over this briefly i'm not going to make this super super long but you can see you've got all of the team just on the inside i think all their artwork looks amazing from the legacy range so if you did buy any of the lego sets with that range on i think you were you were lucky with regards to that and i do like the orange and the black and yes this is standard uk weather it is now belting off the roof so i will speak a little bit louder now coming up and down you can see it carries on with some of the little bits and pieces just on that bit and that is the end of the comic now as we're coming through you've got some bits and pieces here where it says ninja school would you learn to, would you like to learn the most important technique stay one step over your opponent grab colors and brighten in today's lesson so you have a nice coloring it in thing to do and you can pick and choose i would imagine what colors you want to do that so there is a colouring section just at the top which looks nice coming on the comic continues so you've got two pages lots and lots of different bits and pieces going on so as we're coming around and through you've got all this really really nice artwork and again you've got the really nice artwork at the bottom and as we're coming up at the top and again you can see the whole team just up on there so i think i think that does look very very smart now it keeps going so it's really on the inside of this one it's a much bigger 
comic than the actual DC magazine and also the Jurassic Park that I just recently did so this seems to be a little bit stronger and a little bit busier on the inside of this one so that carries on all the way through so we'll skip through on that and that that is the next bit that you can see just on there so that does look like it's the end of that again that itself would be a nice picture and then as we pan through this is your limited edition poster so you have got the choice of this one on the back but that is what they're saying is the limited edition so if you do collect your posters get yourself down try and pick yourself up this magazine and then that is obviously the back of the bit that we've just seen now is advertising the lego city magazine so you can see more lego fun as we come round and down on this side you would have had a little build maybe with the police officer and a police car on that lego city edition or you've got a choice of an explorer and a treasurer so you've got two different ones on there so keep your eyes peeled for that and that is all of your sort of giveaway stuff that comes with the magazine so there's your car and then there's your happy chappy with all the tools and stuff so these minifigures are worth picking up especially if you want to add some bits and pieces into your city and again if you're into reading all your magazines and all that kind of stuff you can do lots of different bits and pieces with this now big game to play so you've got bag those bones and then this is just a big game where again it goes from left to right so there's a lot to see with regards and a lot to do within this magazine which is nice then you've got pixel which is a very very hard minifigure to find as well up into the next one, so this is now says this is a mission in the top left hand corner, you can see in lofting heights and you come down you've got all these bits and pieces that are going on just in here and then we're coming through and then you've got the Ninjago City supervillain which says part number 21, so that is I do believe what is the guy on your poster and as we turn the page it says all about the armour and you've got lots of little bits and pieces on there with all the different armour that they had within this series of the show, I have seen quite a lot of them and I, I do recognize all these characters so they were quite cool i think some of these actually did glow in the dark and i did think they did some of the sets that glowed in the dark as well potentially but up in here you've got in the realm of the dragons and i have written everything down but it's super top secret so well done to him so that is the legacy book of heroes season number nine moving on you've got more bits and pieces for ninjago city so you can see at the top left that is obviously from the film which is episode number one no i'm lying to you is it series number one and then it comes all the way through and then you've got all the different bits and pieces it's just sort of a brief understanding of what happened in the ninjago city so it's all the different bits and pieces which is really really nice and then you've got the gallery coming down to see what the gallery is all about and you can see you've got a lot of really nice minifigures that you could have potentially picked up in the past from all of the different sets and just all of those as a picture looks really really nice but if you can imagine having them on a display i think you would have been in for a winner on that one now how much more have we got to go we've got the air tour so coming through on the air tour you've got little bits and pieces on that you've got a little bit of maths coming down you've got some other little bits and pieces i do recognize that actually as a set and from the show as well so this this set just here there's some nice minifigures included within that and then you've got a five step overview of this so that is your little missions where you're learning for a bit of maths on that so that is something i'm definitely going to skip then we've got a lot of mazes so again loads and loads of different games in every single magazine so this is completely different to any of the other magazines and as we come through and round again you've got five different ones on there skipping to the next bit you're coming right to the end so if you stuck through this then you've got the tin to come next coming soon what have we got so we have got coal and bone at night so it looks like they are going to be the two minifigures now i've got a soft spot for coal just because he always wears the bright colors so i think he is pretty cool because he was originally boring brown and they changed him very very quickly so it does look like you're going to get a bag of two minifigures on that one in the next special edition but i don't know if it's going to be a tin or not now if it's going to be a tin that'd be pretty cool we can just have them on the shelf and i can just keep them in so i will be keeping my eyes peeled for the next one and then you've just got some for four players you've got a four player game on this so you can actually cut these out by the looks of it and have a game with all these different cards i do believe and then right at the back they are another four game plane and again you can cut them out and you've got dual sided by the looks of it so all systems on the jaw you have to lose a gamer like me so yeah there we go so you've got lots and lots of different bits and pieces going on main event time which is this pretty cool looking tin now 
we'll have a look as you can see hopefully it's all super super shiny as it's coming around and then you have got this little bit of artwork just here on the side and I think again that looks really really smart so you've got that on the one side and then we spin this over and round you've then got Lloyd himself on the other so obviously he is the green ninja for those that have no idea and then it is our legacy box coming through onto this side it just gives you the two bits of artwork now I said there might be something on the back but it's not it's just got it says it's just a limited edition box it's got a one-to-one -one item and then you can see all the little bits and pieces on the back and it is meant for a six plus so this is a cool a cool looking thing I think and it's obviously all raised up so you can probably see that coming through if you are a collector of these things I think it might be something that might look very very nice on display and um, but like I said it's the only one I've got so if I do get another one it might be worth trying to put it somewhere now is it an easy thing what have we got so we've got a lip on here on the tin is that a case if you dig in no, we've got a bit of tape on the side, so let's get this off. Good old bit of sellotape. Right, is that off? Nope. There we go. Right, we are away. So what is on the inside? So on the inside, it's just the back. So again, that might be a little bit of a better look now, so I can grab that a little bit easier. And that's just, again, the quick look at the front of the tin. I do like the blue. And if you can now probably notice that the green and red eyes are actually starting to show up. So they have got like an extra reflective piece on the inside just there. So if I go that way, they're normal green. And then they're super, super bright. Same thing with the red. So that's a really nice touch. Now on the inside, no surprises really. We just have the two minifigures, which is plenty of space actually to add in any BAM accessories so that you'll build a minifigure, which they do have currently actually going on. You've got to build a minifigure wave available at all of the Lego stores. So you could fit all six in here and then you wouldn't have to worry about losing them. But what I will do is I'll get these built very, very quickly. I'll see if I can do this. As we go, I don't think it should be too too complicated. So these are all the swords that are available currently actually within the BAM setup as well. Now, with regards to the print on the front, so we can do this bit by bit, hopefully it's coming through. You can see really, really nice print on the trouser. And then you've got, as it comes round onto the back, there's no print on the back, no print on the side. But again, on the front, you've almost got like the rope effect around his knees. If I get his hands out of the way, you can then see he's got his belt on his pelvis and then you've got the sort of matching bit that just goes right across just in there. So that's a nice looking piece. And then over onto the arms. This is quite interesting now because on the arms it is a dual colour. So you've got the dark green and the lighter green. Now that is something that all of the builder minifigures are doing currently for the new um, Ninjago market. So they must have had very, very similar outfits at the time. Now, do these have dual molded faces? What do we think? So before I put that on, they've got a light in them in a bit of a better place now. So you might be able to see that a little bit better. So a lot of detail on the back. There we go on the side and then that is the bits and pieces on the front sword to sword that's simple enough now head there we go so this is the exact head that they have at the lego shops currently so this is what you need to be looking for it's hard to find in that bam section because you've just got the green eyeballs that you need to look for so it's the only head that has the green eyes in it and then you can pick and choose which display that you want but obviously he's going to be in a battle isn't he so we'll plonk him up on here like so plonk him down and that is that now you don't really notice the expression too much it's just the eyes because he has this really nice head piece he says which is this bit just here again looks very very effective and they all look great as a team but have i done a schoolboy error of course i have so i need to put his shoulder pad on first so if we put the shoulder pad on we'll go over that arm might not be the right arm but we'll go over this one so plonk that down that's what that looks like with that on get that arm out of the way so again looks looks simple enough looks nice enough up at the top there we go and then plonk him down hopefully i've got it all on the correct way and that is one ninja for you so obviously without the saw which i'm not going to try and attempt to put on so i'm just going to knock him over that is the detail of that one now remember you're getting two minifigures for this price so these are actually cheaper than uh well the cmfs as such but then at the same time if you were to do a BAM, you have to get three of them. So it's about the same, it's about there or thereabouts the same price as the BAM, but they are obviously cheaper than CMS. Now, this already looks amazing. So let's get this on. I'm trying to do my best to keep my arm out of the way, the light. So before I put the head on, look at the detail on this minifigure. That's silver. Hopefully it's coming through all right. 
on his arm it looks absolutely lovely and then you've got all of the different shine on the front so you've got all the silver on the front of his boots you've got it on the knee you've got it on the thighs you've got the red and then you've got this sort of the it's almost like a green if it's not coming through it's almost like it's a glow in the dark color so i do want to test that actually and just see if it will glow in the dark so we'll do that right at the end and then on the back what do we have we have got even more prints so super super shiny all across the back this will actually look quite nice in the apocalypse bogue set that i've got as well actually so it's kind of one of those minifigures where it's got all like the armor and everything on and you can see the silver buckle bits up at the top going right up hopefully there it is right up the center of his spine and then you've got this bit right at the top where it's going to wrap around the back of his neck now i do believe that he will also have a shoulder pad now i don't know if i got this the right way around because i put this one is actually supposed to be on lloyd and the spiky one that i put on lloyd is actually supposed to be on him because i wasn't looking at the picture properly so if the spiky one goes on him lloyd can just be over there somewhere so that is him with the spiky shoulder pad on that makes much more sense and then get his noggin on he has a single print on his face so that again is what that looks like but there is an addition to add so Again, hopefully that's coming through clearly enough. I think it is just on the borderline of light because that dark cloud's coming over, but we'll carry on with it. So you can see that. Now, you obviously, you've got the hole for his head, but what we can add is some little horns just on here, which is exactly the same as the Daredevil piece in black rather than red. And that is what that looks like. So I think that does look very, very smart. Now, again, I'm looking at the picture on the tin. I do believe... He has some sort of weird and wonderful weapon. So what have we got here? We have got a bit that goes in one bit just there. So I'll do that off camera where you can have a look at him. Next bit goes in like so. And I do believe he just holds it like that. So that is one very large thing. So you can see that from... Oh, he says, what have I done? There we go. So you can see that from there like so. And again, it is a big, big looking thing. So it's as tall as the minifigure itself. So how he throws that about, I don't know. But you would be able to get some nice photos. Because obviously what he would do is he would just hold it like that, wouldn't he? And then you can do some bits and pieces with him. So what I'll do is I'll rebuild Lloyd, compare him to one or two of the other minifigures, and then we'll wrap it up. So here we go with them all built up. Now that is the Joker that has been added in to the display. So that is the other free, I say free, it was the minifigure that was included within the magazine. So obviously you pay for it because obviously you get it with the magazine. So they were the same price. So what you got with the joker was you got one or two other little bits and pieces with him and then you just got the magazine but for the same price at this time around for the ninjago range you have this nice looking tin and then you obviously have the two minifigures as well so i do believe that more than likely this is the best bang for the buck at the moment with regards to just what you get for your money so i would imagine if you can hunt this one down and you are a fan of ninjago this might be a good one to get and again if they have been doing these because it is lucky dip of where these tins turn up and you manage to get the last one let us know in the comments below but i think i'm starting to run out of time it's going to be a short and sweet one for this one guys so hopefully you've enjoyed it let us know if you are going to try and find this one at your local store and if you have got it and obviously if you haven't what else is available for you to purchase because there are some fantastic magazines with some good looking minifigures in currently but guys if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel that'd be absolutely fantastic thank you very much for all your support but as always thank you very much for watching you lot take care and i hope to get you the next one Ta -da.